In this video, we'll cover the essential steps and best practices for installing a Clearlight Sierra Pivot Shower Door Set. Before installing any Clearlight product, ensure you have the printed installation manual on hand. Before installation, decide which side the door will be pivoted from, as the door panel is reversible. An acrylic wall liner is shown here. If you're installing a tiled wall shower over a Sure Seal shower tray, the wall receivers must be installed to the waterproof membrane. Partially remove the clear protective film from the edge of the wall liner where the wall receivers will be fitted. Keep the remaining film in place until the installation is complete. Using a 4mm drill bit, pre-drill three holes to the top, middle and bottom of the wall receivers. Position the wall receivers on the wall liner and hard against the inside edge of the shower tray upstand. Ensure they're plumb and drill through the clearance holes using a 3mm drill bit. Apply silicone sealant to each of these holes, then affix the wall receivers. Place the pivot side of the door panel into the wall receiver, ensuring the shower door will always open outwards. Keep the pre-installed door setting block in place as it supports the door and also sets the correct clearance off the sill. Located on the end of the return panel is a temporarily fitted bottom sill. Remove and apply a small continuous bead of silicon sealant to the inside. The return panel is also reversible to accommodate what side of the shower it will be fitted to. Therefore, install this bottom sill to what will be your return panel's lower edge. Place return panel into wall receiver while ensuring the corner post also engages over the door panel. Then plumb the panels using a 3mm bit, drill, then affix panels to corner post and wall receivers. Finish by pushing on the screw caps. Close the door and check alignment. If needed, you can adjust by sliding the outside cover off the pivot clamp. Loosen the two screws and slide door left or right inside the pivot. Retighten screws and push cover back into place. Remove the door setting block and fit the drip seals. Ensure they're flexible. Vertical blades are facing towards the inside of the shower. Then cut required length for each side of the door pivot. You'll also need to notch the drip seal on the door's opening side by 13 mils to allow it to fit under the door magnet. For white powder coated joinery, you'll need to wipe all the surfaces where silicon sealant is to be applied with a towelette. Allow two minutes to dry then mask and apply sealant between the shower tray upstand and the door set along the bottom outside edges. Do not apply sealant on the inside of the shower. Mask and apply silicon sealant between the wall receivers and the wall liner. Remove all remaining protective film and allow silicon sealant to cure for a minimum of 24 hours before use. The Clearlight shower installation is now complete. Key points to remember. Pre-drill wall receiver. Partially remove protective film. Secure wall receivers. Refit bottom sill to return panel bottom edge. Plumb and affix door and return panels. Adjust door if needed. Fit drip seals. Clean powder coated joinery with towelette. Mask and apply silicon sealant. Allow 24 hours before use. For detailed instructions, always refer to the installation manual supplied with the Clearlight product. Failing to follow the printed installation instructions may void the warranty.